Okay, welcome everyone to Continuing Ed. This is the Ditch It and Switch It class, and I am glad you're here. I'm gonna um, go ahead and share my screen. Oops, wrong side, wrong side. Okay, let me know if you can see that. Everyone give me a thumbs up on that. Perfect. Okay, well, if you do not know me, my name is Leanne Stork. I have been doing doTERRA for a really long time now, 12 years. Um, I actually, this class is super fun for me to teach because it's actually what got me into doTERRA. My family didn't have any specific health concerns. At the time when I was introduced, I had three babies. Um, but we were really into natural living. And my husband, before we got married, was um, taking more uh, prescription meds than my grandparents. He had ulcerative colitis, and we had already kind of journeyed through healing through diet and natural remedies. So all that was really familiar to me, but I was really passionate about having very effective um, solutions on hand. I didn't want to use toxins. I had babies crawling on the floor, eating, sucking their fingers, all the things. So this really is my passion. I'm all about greening up our lives. And I actually even put my green sweater on just in honor of the greenness. So this is a ditch and switch class. If you've been to a class before, you're familiar with, um, if you've done continuing ed, maybe you've done some of these classes, but what we want this to be is a very practical way for you to maybe make some changes. And I just wanna say from the get-go, I might step on your toes today. I might make you a little uncomfortable. I might make you feel like um, you need to change a lot and that's okay. I want you to know that even though I'm talking about all this, I still have areas of my life I need to clean up. In fact, when I was getting ready, and I looked at my dry shampoo can that was apps, almost empty. I was like, this is not good. This is not a good thing for my brain. So we're all on the continuum somewhere. And I would, I would just encourage you, if this is a lot of information, um, maybe just pick a few things. Start with just a couple things. And if on the other hand, you are super, like you feel like you've greened up everything, I promise you there's something that you need to work on. So let's just dig in. Knowing that we live in a toxic world, but also that we can control what we only what we can control. So let's talk about some toxins. Okay, here's my goal. I just want to expose some areas that you might have some toxins lurking. Maybe you have a whole lot of them. Maybe you have a few of them. But I'd love to give you some practical ways to ditch them, um, switch to pro pro products that are clean and green and even work better. I think that's one of my favorite things about DoTerra's products. There's a lot. They make it very easy to switch but also their stuff is more effective than the stuff I was using previously. So let's start real basic. What's a toxin? A toxin is a substance that places undue stress on your body. They are everywhere. They are not only in things that you're purchasing, they're in your air. Our cars emit them. I mean, we have toxins everywhere. Our skin is absorbing them. In fact, there was a study done in 2004 that found over 200 toxic chemicals in baby cord. Um, 180 of those chemicals were known to cause cancer and 217 were toxic to the brain and nervous system. So there are things we cannot control, but if you look, that number is staggering. So what we can do, let's make an effort to change. So what's a toxic load? You're gonna hear that a lot. Let's reduce our toxic load. A toxic load is the sum of the toxic substances accumulating within your body. And the burden they place on your organs is cumulative. Like maybe your first exposure to a toxin is gonna to be your body will know like, hey, we don't like this. But as we get older and we age, there is a cumulative effect on our body. So does your body's toxic load really matter? I mean, I get this a lot, right? Does it matter? Does it matter what detergent I use? Does it matter? You know, does it matter? Yes, that's the short answer. So here's a very short list of things that are related to your body's toxic load. Now, those are not the only issues and nor it's not exhaustive and nor is it the only reason you can have those issues. So I'm not saying if you have skin issues or constipation, I just said that, yes, um, or weight gain, that's not necessarily because you have, not, it's not necessarily because of your toxic load, but for sure that is making it worse. 
Um, and in some cases, obviously, it could be caused by that. So there are 80,000 toxic chemicals on the market. And I will tell you, I have some facts here that I don't want to forget to tell you. Of 3,000 high volume chemicals used in excess of 1 million pounds per year, right? So these are the high volume ones, the ones that we use all the time. Only 7% are actually tested for safety. So, and just because most of us are women, so if you're a male, I apologize for excluding you, but this is just a staggering fact to me. The average woman uses 12 different personal care products a day that contain over 126 ingredients. The amount of, in, the amount of chemicals we are exposed to just by the daily routines that we keep is so important. And what little changes we can make will have profound effects on our health. And so I want you to keep that in mind as we start to like think through what you can change. What are you addicted to in terms of, not addiction, but in terms of your, your go-to, right? Like maybe it's a dryer sheet or maybe it's a candle. Um, maybe consider that just doing one thing is gonna make a big difference. So close to 100 contaminants, many products that are marketed to keep our homes smelling fresh, free are spreading synthetic chemicals like in your air, on your surfaces. Um, we're gonna talk about this a little bit more, but things that contaminate really just, they ruin. Like if you think about a contaminant in your food, a contaminant just, it, it ruins the whole thing, right? So that's the effect of these chemicals. So we're going to kind of tackle two areas, our cleaning and our personal care products. And I'm hoping to push you maybe a little bit further than maybe you've been pushed before. Um, we're going to start with cleaning. In fact, one of my leaders, Lindsay, just sent this to me earlier. A study, found in, a study in 2018 found women who cleaned one time a week with chemical cleaners. And by the way, a chemical cleaner is anything you find in the grocery store aisle, like you name it. Lysol, pine salt, I could lay, I, we could Clorox, we could keep on going. So women who cleaned one time per week with chemical cleaners was equivalent to smoking one pack of cigarettes a day, a day. So when we're talking about how, like that's only cleaning one time a week, how many times are we spraying down counters? In two, 2020, they found that people started cleaning way more than they ever had before because we were fighting a worldwide pandemic, right? So it is important. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about all-purpose cleaners. This might sound a lot like a new product reveal because doTERRA did just launch an abode line, but I'm gonna to try to tell you things that I have found with these products. So in terms of all-purpose cleaner, ditch them. I can promise you, you will love the abode cleaner so much more. It comes in that PCR, that little vial is only one fluid ounce. It's made of post-consumer recycled material. And so it's recyclable and you use, you pour that into your spray bottle and then you can add water. And this stuff is amazing. I didn't think I was gonna be amazed. Let's just be honest. We've all been using On Guard Cleaning Concentrate. I was happy with it. Um, this stuff, when I got home from convention, my dog made a mess on the carpet. He she tends to have a tummy issue and I couldn't believe how well it cleaned my carpet. I couldn't believe it. Um, I have seen videos of people using this as stain remover. I've used it on my bathrooms, I've used it on my counters, I've used it on my floors. It's an amazing, amazing surface spray. Um, if you haven't tried it, I would recommend it. Um, if you don't have access to it yet, then I would say find it on your LRP and add it because it's a go-to. And as a side note, you can buy these um, one ounce containers in a four pack, which is equivalent to buying three and getting one free. So, and I can tell you, you're gonna want more than one. Okay, dishwasher pods. Mm -hmm. I am really picky about my dishwasher pods. In fact, I've been trying to figure out how to find one that I liked. I did not know this was coming. I have been super impressed with these. My dishwasher smells cleaner than it ever has. Even when I've used oils with my, nat my other natural cleaner, um, you just pop these dishwasher pods in and they really do clean well. I always wash, I clean my dishes off. So I'm not usually, um, you know, trying to get crusty old food off. I'm pretty good about rinsing my dishes, but I will give you a tip. And that is to put the dishwasher pod in your silverware tray if your container is wet, cause it'll help dissolve it and spin it out. But consider the chemicals that are in your dishwashing pods or soap that you're using if they are not green. 
it's going on your, on your dishes, which is what you're putting your food on and eating. So you're ending up ingesting chemicals that are not necessary, especially when there's something that's so effective on the market and that you have access to because you are a doTERRA member. Okay, so let's just stay in the kitchen while we're here. Dish soap. Um, this is another great product. I have um, been using a quote unquote natural brand. I have recently, probably in the last year, became aware of something called greenwashing. And if you have been using natural products, um, maybe you have heard this too, but what it is is basically a method that these companies who want to who want to advertise that they have a green product but they're actually just they're creatively sneaking things in and i think what i love is that we know that we can trust doTERRA they're so transparent about their ingredients um, they want us all to have healthy they want the whole goal is health right and so this dish soap has been really great um, we have we have actually loved it it cuts grease very easily it it's just one we keep on our counter. In fact, I was thinking the other day, I need to add one to our mud room when we're like cleaning baseball stuff. My boys play baseball, I have three boys. I didn't mention that earlier, but I have three teenage baseball boy playing boys. So as you might imagine, there's some odor and there is some mess. So this has really been a great thing. We're gonna to move to the laundry room and I realize this is a very touchy subject for people. Um, People are addicted to the scent of their clothes. They want it, they want what they have always had. They love the way their detergent smells. In fact, clothes don't seem clean if they don't have that aroma. And this is such a good thing to take time to just think through. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna point fingers. This is not a place of shame. Um, what the thing about detergent is that it is designed to stick to your clothes. That is why the aroma smells for so long. And where, what is our largest organ? We all know this, right? It's our skin. So you pull those out of your dryer, you can, they smell delicious, and then you put it on your skin and your skin absorbs it all day. So you're absorbing needless chemicals. Um, it's just not, it's not ideal. So we have in the past been using On Guard detergent and we now know that doTERRA launched these laundry pods. I love them, I love them. I toss one in. If we have a large load, I put two in. Um, that My clothes come out with a great aroma. They don't come out of the dryer smelling, but if I want to add an aroma, all I have to do is put some drops on my dryer balls, which we're gonna go to next. Um, I love it. My clothes are coming out clean. Um, I've been super impressed. I'm pretty tough on products. I'm not always an easy sell, but I, like I said, I have three teenage boys. So there are some messy, and stinky clothes and they've been coming out beautifully. Okay, let's talk about the dryer sheets. This is another one and I know a lot of you are addicted to this because it's all part of how we smell, right? We have this emotional attachment to the, the smell of what we consider clean. Um, my clothes actually don't come out of my laundry usually smelling like anything and I kind of love that because then I can use my oils however I want during the day and it doesn't compete with the aroma of my clothes. In fact, we recently got some clothes from a friend for my boys and they were just hand-me-downs and I can still smell the detergent on some of the clothes that they're wearing, even though they've been washed. Um, it is designed to, to coat your stuff, to coat your clothing. Um, so dryer sheets, dryer sheets actually, I mean, I could really gross you out, right? Actually, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go there. So dryer sheets, most dryer sheets actually use animal fat. That's kind of how it coats your clothes, that softness you feel is is actually oil so it can trap stains which actually makes your clothes dirtier and so while it comes out smelling delicious and you can see that picture of those beautiful white towels hanging in the fresh air um, you're actually doing the exact opposite so here's my alternative um, i actually have a pump bottle that was an old um, shampoo bottle i put it i clean it out i put vinegar in it and then i put oil in. I put usually put citrus bliss. I like this um, recipe I found. I'm going to try it next time. I would tell you I would probably double the amount of essential oils I put in there. And I just squirt it right into my um, fabric softening container on my washer. Um, people always ask how much. I'm like, as much as I feel like doing. So I'll just squirt five, six, ten times, depending on how gross the load is. And I know that that's a natural way to get my clothes soft. And then when I put my clothes in my dryer, you see those wool dryer balls. 
I put those in my dryer and it reduces static. It helps them dry faster. So I'm wasting less energy with my dryer and they come out softer. Okay, air fresheners or Lysol. I know we can use Lysol both ways. You can use it in the air. It's supposed to kill stuff in the air on surfaces. I already told you a good surface spray alternative, but now I wanna tell you oh, that something that you can use to do or make rather that will freshen the air for you. And that is with one of these spray bottles that doTERRA sells, you can just go on your LRP. I think they're called continuing, continuous mist should probably pull it up if you put that in your search bar. Um, and if someone knows the exact one, you can put it in the chat bar, but add some essential oils. There's a whole, you can put whatever you want. This is just an idea. You, the sky's the limit, and then fill the rest with either vinegar, distilled water, or alcohol. And don't worry if it's like, don't I, vinegar might be a, a little bit much for air freshener. I would probably opt for a, like a vodka, some sort of alcohol. That smell of alcohol is gonna evaporate very quickly and what you're gonna be left with is just the essential oil. Um, so, and again, these chemicals are known, some of the things, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, so I'm gonna mention it now. These chemicals that we find in these products that have become so synonymous with clean for us actually have known endocrine disruptors. So they're messing with our hormones. They have chemicals that are causing cancer. I mean, it really is so far reaching and they're causing migraines. They're causing all kinds of things. You know, people are so sensitive to smells now. It's not because of the essential oils. It's because of all the synthetic fragrances that are in everything we have. Candles. Okay, it's fall. I know, I get it. It's getting dark sooner. It's getting colder outside, unless you live in Texas or Florida or somewhere in between. Um, and we all crave that cozy feeling, right? We, like I just, you just wanna kind of hunker in. The holidays are coming and you might have your favorite candle scent. They are so bad for you. I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, you're burning stuff into the air, you're breathing it in, it's affecting your respiratory system, it's affecting, it's affecting all kinds of systems that you may be unaware of. And because you use essential oils, there's no reason why you just can't set your diffusers, your house can smell more amazing than it would have if you were burned, burning a candle all the time. And you'll have only side benefits and not side effects. Right. While we are diffusing, we're not just, excuse me, we're not just getting a good smell in our home. We're improving our kids' moods, our moods. In fact, I don't know if you can see, I have my diffuser running right behind me. We're calming down anxious feelings. We're, we're resting better. We're breathing clearer. We're all the things, right? We're, built, we're enhancing our immunity. There's so many benefits to diffusing besides just the, the ambiance and the great smell. So I would challenge you, if you have not tossed your candles, I don't even care if you don't burn them. If you don't burn them and they're still sitting in your house, they still have fragrances in them. You're still getting that in your air. You don't actually have to burn them. Burning just accelerates that. Um, I put some of the ones I love to diffuse, but you know your blends. You can find plenty of blends, plenty of fall recipes on Pinterest. You can search on, I'm sure you could even Google it. Okay, so those are kind of my, my ditch and switch products, right? But here are, if maybe you aren't ready to purchase all of those new products, maybe it's not in your budget, here are some other recipes. Um, you can make a glass cleaner, a tile scrub. I clean so often with my, I love my all-purpose cleaner. I love baking soda. I use it in my kitchen, my bathrooms, and I love vinegar. I mean, those are so cheap. They're such cheap ingredients. And all you have to do is have them on hand. You can get them in bulk at Sands or Costco, or maybe even your grocery store. And here are just some recipes um, for you to keep in mind. So I'm going to leave this up for a second so you can screenshot it if you don't have this. Um, I am not a huge DIY person. So like for my toilet bowl, my sink scrub, um, even my glass cleaner, I do make a glass cleaner to keep it in my my bin that goes around, but I literally carry around a mason jar full of baking soda. And when I scrub my toilets, I put my cleaner in it, I dump some baking soda in, I scrub, I flush, and we're good to go. Um, but if you would love, if you love DIYs and you want different containers, here's, here's, here's a small sampling. There's so many more out there. Um, probably my favorite essential oil to clean with is lemon because it cuts grease. It it can break apart dirt, it smells delicious, it's anti-everything, um, but I can't say that that's the only one I clean with. In fact, because of the new Abode blend, which I'm gonna give you a little, give, a little hint, this is one of our giveaways tonight. 
this is the new abode blend and I've been dumping this into my toilets and into my washing machine for a little extra boost and I am loving it. So um, that might become my new favorite, but up until now it's been lemon. So, okay, so here's some additional cleaning tips. I just told you baking soda. Um, look at this. I didn't even realize I had all these notes written down for you, but add a few drops to a bow to amplify cleaning. Um, lemon for a degreaser. I can't, I cannot, I cannot emphasize this enough. I have had, I have miracle stories with lemon. I've gotten red crayon out of white clothing twice that were washed and dried. Um, I, if you have a squeaky door, you have anything that you can't get clean or sticky or it's squeaky, whatever it is, use lemon. And I can't tell you how much I love this so much more than anything I've ever sprayed. WD-40, Goo Gone, those smell so horrible, but when you use lemon, everyone benefits, it smells delicious. And then remember to utilize the oils you have. Maybe you don't have a bowed yet, but you do have oils that are good for cleaning. So just look into your stash and find something that you can use and make a small change. Okay, personal care. I'm gonna get a little bit more personal here. Um, let me see how I'm doing on time. 620, we're good. Okay. Um, okay, so personal care. Women, we are so bad about this. The amount of things, even just in our daily routine that we put on, from start to finish is, can be so detrimental to our overall health. So let's start with deodorant. We have been taught from a very young age that sweating is bad. I just wanna be here to challenge you that sweating is actually your body's way of detoxing. It's so important that, and that we get the toxins out of our body and sweating is one of the main ways to do that. So it isn't bad to sweat. And if your deodorant says antiperspirant on it, you need to ditch it. <laughs> I mean, you need to ditch it if it's not natural anyway, um, but ditch it. It's not good. It's, it's ruining everything. There's probably ruining your health wise. Uh, maybe you smell great. Maybe you don't sweat, but it's not helping your body do what your body was created to do. Um, another thing in deodorant is aluminum. And if you consider where we're placing our deodorant, it's right. One, there's two things. It's where your lymph nodes all drain. It's all part of the whole body system, but also really close to our breast tissue. Um, there have been studies done that, that really lead us to believe that some of the aluminum we're absorbing is actually causing us to have um, more breast cancer um, incidences. So I can't quote a specific study, but it's just not worth the risk. And doTERRA has three types of their deodorant. Balance is probably my favorite of the three. Um, they do use some baking soda, which can be abrasive. So if you know that you're sensitive to baking soda, try the citrus bliss one on the right. You can't really see it because the blare, the glare, the blare, the glare on your my screen, but it is the one it says it's actually like for natural or for sensitive skin. So just look for that when you're on your, your account. Lotion. Okay, lotion. We rub this all over our body. We shave, we rub our own legs. We, it's summer, we put it on our arms. We have cream for our faces. We've got cream for wrinkles. We've got cream for days. It's time to think about what's in your lotion. Um, this is not a face lotion. We're gonna talk about your skincare in a little bit. This is like a hand and body lotion. What I love about it, I can get it. One, I can get it in the three pack. And two, I can customize this with an oil that I wanna wear. So if I'm gonna go out in the sun, I don't add citrus because citrus um, reacts with the sun and can cause your skin to burn faster. But if I'm feeling tired and I need to sleep, I can put serenity or lavender in it. If I'm headed out for the day and I need to be invigorated, I can put a drop of peppermint in it. It's made to be customized with your essential oils and it has none of the junk that causes illness and unhealth. Skincare, okay. so. I don't care what age you are. Maybe you have wrinkles. Maybe you have acne. Maybe you have a teenager who has acne. I don't know where you find yourself, but the awesome thing is regardless of where you find yourself, doTERRA has a line that will work for your skin. My kids, I told you I have three teenagers. I have a 17 year old, an almost 16 year old and a 13 year, almost 13 year old. And they love the HD clear. It helps with acne. They notice a difference when they're using it. Um, I love the Barrage line and I actually love the one on the far right. Um, the essential skincare line. Um, I kind of mix it around. I do, I use a combination of both. If you haven't tried one, try one. Um, it's worth it. It's worth one, the health of your skin and two, the health of your body. I feel like a broken record. I just keep saying the same thing. Okay, hand soap. 
2020 came and we learned that washing our hands was really important, which then made me worry that maybe people weren't actually washing their hands. And I was curious what they had been doing. Um, it's important to wash our hands. It's also important to let the natural bacteria that's on our skin live because that's actually part of our immunity. We're not really hearing much of that on mainstream media, but there is a real truth to the fact that our body needs healthy or they need, it relies on microbes to build immunity. So what I love about doTERRA's hand wash is it's cleaning what needs to be clean, but without destroying my the good bacteria on my skin. Um, we have loved uh, the On Guard hand soap. We still have some of that in our bathrooms, but we've also started making the switch to this Abode line. I love it. It's, it's really sudsy, which if you've used any of the other scents, sometimes that's a problem. We've been really pleased with this. It smells delicious. It's actually made with a citrus bloom blend. Um, if you haven't tried that, it's, it's, it smells delicious. So um, again, ditch it and switch it. Shampoo. Okay. Our, I, this is this is an area where, not shampoo, but my hair care is one of the places, it's like the last frontier for me, okay? Like this is the one where I'm talking to myself. I use all of doTERRA's shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, I love it. Um, I haven't used normal, or I don't know what you call, I, don't, I haven't used mainstream shampoo and conditioner, is that a thing? I don't know what you call it. Grocery store, salon, I've been using clean shampoo for years and years. Um, but consider where, Two things, usually when we're washing our hair, we're not in a cold shower. Most of us don't really enjoy cold showers. We enjoy warm showers or warm or hot baths. Hot showers or hot baths, not even warm really, right? And we know that when we use warm or hot heat at all, it, 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 it increases our blood flow and it opens up our pores. And what's under this beautiful skin right here? Your brain. So what we're putting on our hair and our head really matters. Think about protecting your brain. When you're, when you're in the shower, putting all that hot water on your scalp, opening up your pores, and then using these products to clean your hair. Um, it's just not worth it. I love the shampoo, the conditioner, it smells delicious. It's like invigorating, it's the whole thing. The leave-in conditioner, I wish I had thought, and I didn't even think about this till right now, but there was a, a slide that I saw somewhere that showed someone's hair after they, or no, something that they would use their hot iron on that they had sprayed leave-in conditioner. It literally prevented it from being burnt. So if you haven't seen that and someone knows where it is, link it, tell them what to look for. It was really, really compelling. So I do use leave-in conditioner. I will say if you have fine hair, probably don't spray it all over the roots because it will also look a little greasy before you're done styling your hair and that may not be the look you're going for. Um, okay, toothpaste. This is another tricky thing because I know so many of you have been going, actually all of you hopefully have gone to the dentist and heard them say it is so important for you to use fluoride. Fluoride is a known neurotoxin. Just gonna say that and leave it there. Not gonna argue it, not even gonna justify it. So when you're putting, and it's actually been known to, if you use fluoride, what we hear is that fluoride actually makes your teeth stronger. But what they have found is that fluoride can actually break down your enamel. So um, it's time to ditch the fluoride. It's not doing what it's, what they've been saying it's doing for you. It's has, it hasn't been doing that for you. It's a known neurotoxin and we're using it in our mouth, like, which is the gateway to our health. Like that's our, like, that's where everything gets in, right? Um, it's just time to ditch it. The new On Guard toothpaste, it's actually a year, it's a year plus old. I love it. It's so, it tastes delicious. It actually has a remineralizing um, ingredient in it that I am not smart enough to know which, what it's called. Um, my kids love it. It's, even though it has On Guard, it's not super strong cinnamony. It's not too hot. Um, and it's a natural white, whitening toothpaste. Um, so if you're still using something that is not green and not clean, and we're using, consider that we're using this to clean our mouths. So we want to use clean ingredients to actually get an actual clean mouth. It's a great toothpaste. We love it. Okay, soaps. Again, we're in the shower. It's hot. We don't really need to hash this out again. Chemicals absorbing into your skin. It's time to get clean soap. If you don't have one, it's time. Moving on. Okay, I want to just, I want to branch out a little bit um, because a lot of you may already be using all those products. Maybe this is brand new and if it's okay and this is overload, you can disregard this and make changes as you start to feel like there's room for more changes. Um, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is 
one of like the very most popular things right now. Um, we had a worldwide pandemic and all of a sudden everyone needed to sanitize their hands, right? Um, use OnGuard. It, the hand sanitizer has gross, one, it has gross ingredients in it, but also it's killing the healthy mic microbes on your hand. So it's actually being, it's detrimental to your health. Um, Bengay, Icy Hot, Muscle Rubs, whichever one you use, um, Deep Blue, it's cleaner. Um, the, I should have put the new stick. I'm actually embarrassed that I forgot about the new stick. I live by that new stick. Um, I've been putting Deep Blue stick on it and I immediately feel relief. Um, it has copaiba in it. It's amazing, you should use it. Um, ointments. It's time to use Correctex. It's okay. Like I just had this conversation with my grandfather. He has a rash on his back right now, actually. And he was like, should I put hydrocortisol on it or some other form of ointment? I don't even remember. And he said, would you, that's what he said. Would you put that on it? And I was like, no, no, I wouldn't Papa." But we both know that I'm kind of a hippie. Like, you know, we all grew up in a different era and this is all new to him. So he's so proud of himself when he looks in the book for what to use for a cough, but he still has the things he's holding on to, right? So do we. Um, okay, throat lozenges. It's that time of year, our kids are back in school. Um, it's time to get rid of those cough, cough drops. Uh, the On Guard drops are amazing. If your kids or you don't love the taste of On Guard, good news, you can try Breathe, which also has great immune building oils. Um, if you get nauseous at all, they have ginger drops. Um, again, these are just kind of like extra things to consider when you're talking about um, ditching toxins. Okay, this slide, I know this makes you all uncomfortable, right? Because I just put pictures of sanitary products on my slide. Um, cotton is often actually mostly bleached. Anything you're getting at the grocery store has been bleached so that you can't see any of the color that was in the cotton when it was before it was processed. And we are usually using cotton on our sensitive parts of our body or near our reproductive organs. And I just want to encourage you to think about the things, especially for women um, who are still dealing with a menstrual cycle it is best to just clean it up. I mean, if with all the fertility issues, with all the things that we already know we struggle with, there's enough chemicals. Yes, it might be a little inconvenient. You're gonna have to find a place to get it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Um, another thing I would say, I didn't put a slide on here. Consider your water. Consider detoxing your water. If you're using city water, unfortunately, you're getting things that have been added to your water or haven't been taken out of your water. So consider purifying the water so that when you're drinking, you're actually able to detox and not just adding toxins to your body. Okay, this is my favorite part. So this, I finished really quickly. I thought I was gonna have to like speed. I was so afraid I had too many slides. Um, one of the things we're doing this round is we're taking you behind the bottle. We're letting you know what the doTERRA difference is. And tonight I invited one of my leaders, Lindsay, to share a little bit about tea tree and what makes it so special and what the doTERRA difference is with doTERRA's tea tree. So I am gonna let you take it away. Awesome, can everybody hear me? Yay. Hi guys, I'm Lindsay and I'm in Houston and I am really thankful that Leanne gave me this opportunity to talk about tea tree for a minute. Um, we were going back and forth on talking, okay, we need a specific oil that we clean with that has, you know, multiple fats of good things about it. And tea tree just kept coming to my mind. Uh, it is known for its antiseptic qualities, right? There's over 600 studies done on its benefits, and that number is growing. There are more and more studies being done. Uh, it is known to support healthy immune function and respiratory support. So while you're cleaning and sanitizing your home, you're really helping yourself which and the people around you, which is obviously the whole reason why we're here tonight. Um, it is an evergreen and it's kind of shrub-like. And a fun fact about tea tree when I was doing a little bit more digging around um, was that it said that, you know, obviously it's, we source it from Australia and we also source it from Kenya, but the Australia, uh, Australians are known for their use of tea tree. The Aborigines used it way back. And the beginning of World War II, this is so interesting to me, um, that most of the members of the Australian army carried small bottles of tea tree in their packet with them at war, which I thought was kind of interesting. So um, now I love using tea tree for all things like my body, health, 
everything. But the one thing that I love the most about using tea tree uh, and cleaning is my toilet bowl cleaner. I have used these uh, toilet cleaning pods. I've made these pods before and they are fabulous. Um, you just take a cup of baking soda and your citric acid and your Castile soap. And then I use uh, tea tree and sometimes I'll add lemon to it. And then you just make it up and you pop it in your toilet and you scrub, scrub, scrub. Um, if I'm short on time, I do what Leanne does. And my kids, this is their favorite way to clean. They take the baking soda, they put their tea tree. Sometimes they'll add lemon. Sometimes they just do tea tree. They'll sprinkle it around the inside. And then they love pouring that vinegar because it's a science experiment. And we have a volcano in the toilet. And the kids love it. And they are excited about cleaning toilets. They fight over who gets to clean the toilets. And I feel like that is a huge mom win for me. So I'm going to take it. Um, and they, they scrub it, they get it all clean and everything smells good. So that is my favorite way of using it. Um, and yeah, so definitely take pictures of that. Try it. Let your kids try it. They'll love you for it. So let's talk about why tea tree is so important to use. So as you know, doTERRA is super into um, sustainably harvesting oils. And not only that, but they also want to help the people who grow the oils, the farmers and the people that work on the farm, the people that distill the oils, it's just all the way through, they wanna help it. So in Kenya, which is one of the places that we get our oil, uh, the doTERRA, doTERRA Healing Hands Foundation has funded numerous projects there in Kenya. Um, they've constructed a classroom, they've constructed uh, restroom facilities at a primary school, they've done a library, water storage, staff room, restrooms, tons and tons of stuff um, with support from the Healing Hands Foundation. doTERRA has gone in and done all this. Um, the biggest part of this that we, the biggest, sorry, I got, I got sidetracked there. <laughs> <laughs> um, the biggest thing that they do in Kenya, though, is that they bring fresh water to um, the people who don't have access to fresh water. So as you can see in that sign there, community water point donated by doTERRA. Um, it's pretty incredible what they've been able to do. Um, they made a community borehole and water tower and the Water Maintenance Trust Fund, which continues to do ongoing research research and maintenance of the community water sources. So it's pretty incredible. Um, it's located near our co-impact sourcing farming operation in Kenya. And that project right there specifically has three water tanks that supply an adequate amount of clean water to over 950 students that attend the Wamose Primary School. Um, and these water tanks not only supply water to the school, but also to the surrounding community as well. So they also have a newly built dam that now helps provide irrigation water for crops and prevents the salt water from the ocean that's, you know, from flowing into the river. Um, so drilled fresh water wells now give all the villagers access to clean water. And we are here for that as doTERRA. So when you buy a bottle of tea tree and you use it, you are helping more than just the people at doTERRA. You are helping people in Kenya who need things that only doTERRA can help them get. And I love that. Thank you, Leanne, for letting me share. Awesome, Lindsay. I love that. That is like actually one of my favorite things about doTERRA is that they're doing so much to change the world that it's a very easy company to share with others because you're not just helping someone with their own health issues or their own detoxing of their life, you're actually helping people on the other side of the world that we will never meet. So I love that. Thank you, Lindsay. Okay, it is time for a giveaway. And we are, I'm going to tell you what we're giving away. And then I'm going to pass this over to Taylor to do our wheel of names. I'm going to give away that this is the sample pouch of laundry pods that was given to us at convention it has 20 loads. I'm going to send this out. I am going to send the abode blend. That was my teaser earlier. And then I'm also going to send out the new liquid dish soap and the bottle that it goes with. So it can be a, a, the start to a new sink for you. And then you can, you can just add the other stuff, but we're excited to give this away. I'm gonna stop sharing. And then Taylor, you can share your screen. Yes, I can. It's about to be a party. I'm really hoping I win. So I just mostly typed my own name in over and over and over and over again. Perfect. Just kidding. Okay, can you see the wheel? Yeah. 
Okay, I have to move all your beautiful faces. Okay, there should be music. So here we go. Song too. Jenny, Jenny, are you on here? You are the winner if you are. I'm here. Um, yay. yay. Thank you so much. Jenny, if you if someone can type my email, actually, maybe I can do that. You just need to email me your address and your all your info, and I can get that in the mail to you. And I just yeah. thank you, Leanne. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, Taylor, next up. Next one. Lori. Congratulations, Lori. If you're on here, let us know. I am on here. Yay. Yeah. Oh, we didn't tell you in order. Sorry. So the first one was the laundry pods. Sorry. We're going to go in order. Jenny won that. Lori, you won the abode bottle. And then we're ready for our next one. Last one. This should be me, guys. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica Watson. Jessica, are you here? Congratulations. Yes, I'm here. Awesome, Jessica, you won the dish soap and the bottle. And if you already have some of these products that you just won, I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you to give it to someone else who needs to detox their home a little bit. <laughs> Share the love. <laughs> <laughs> 